What happens for the country if we do that? Well, for example, there would be about 2,400 health science graduates in the country. About 400 would come from UCT, who are all due to start their internships or community service on the 1st of January. The health service is absolutely dependent on those junior doctors, physiotherapists, psychologists. And the people who are currently interns will have left. They've gone into other jobs. They've gone uh, into senior positions or out of the public sector. There would be a serious risk of public sector, health sector collapse if those health science graduates cannot start on the 1st of January. Many of our graduates write exams which are not set by the university. For example, the accountants write uh, accountancy board exams. They're only allowed to write those exams if they've finished their degrees or finished their university exams. If we can't finish them those th this year, they will not be able to write their board exams and they will not be able to proceed for the next year until they've finished that. Many, many of our students, like law students who have got articles lined up, and many others have got jobs lined up for the, for, for the beginning of next year. They're expecting an income next year. They're expecting to help support their families. They're expecting to start paying off loans. Um, and if they cannot start, then they are the ones who are suffering, as well as the businesses and industries that employ them. And it's important to emphasize that the, that the ones who suffer most are the students from the lowest income. Students from high-income families can survive for another few months on their family's income. They can live at home. Uh, it's the students who are indebted, the students who have job promises or contracts with the people who've given them bursaries. Those are the students who will suffer most if we haven't finished the academic year.